Hey guys, it's Jessica. And if I look a little like crazy, it's because I've been decluttering all day and we are continuing on. So today in this video, as the time changes behind me, uh, we're gonna tackle bronzers, blush, and highlight. I think that's all I'm gonna do in this one. Um, so previously I have done my foundations, primers, oils, settings, like basically face products, powders, and I got rid of a lot. Uh, but my entire thought process behind this and the why I'm doing it, it has changed since uh, from years past. So please check out that first video before you watch this one if you haven't. I will have it linked below and in the cards because I touch a lot on PR and what I'm kind of changing in my own life and just some kind of deep thoughts that I've been thinking about and why I'm really trying to whittle things down kind of once and for all, once and for all. So I'm gonna bring all my blushes, bronzers, and highlighters over here and we're just gonna see what happens. This is sickening. This is so much. Oh my gosh. So like I said in the other uh, intro, I'm going to be getting rid of things that I love because I don't need 80 of the same thing. So here we go. Let's start with uh, blush. So I really, this is crazy. The ones that as I'm looking out stand out right off the bat that I know I love is the Flower Beauty Blush Balm and Pinched. The, I'm really enjoying both of these, these cream blushes because that's what I like. Um, oh, I have another one here. I really like that one too. I love the shade Melba and the MAC blush. Oh, there's, see, there's so many I love, like the Neutrogena one, but I... This is too many. I need to get rid of some. I love the Dallas blush. That's got to be kept. I finally got a new one of those, by the way. I honestly think I'm going to get rid of all of the rest of these. <laughs> I just don't need them. You know, I've got these beautiful, like, Becca ones I never reach for. I have these Buxom ones that are beautiful I don't reach for. Those are the ones I'm using. I pretty much always use cream. So why keep all of these powders that I'm really not touching? There's nothing wrong with them. I loved them in the past. But if I know what I enjoy right now, then that's what I enjoy. Oh, the CYO one is nice too. I might keep that one because that one I did enjoy and it's a cream. But like I said, nothing wrong with literally any of these. I just don't need them. I'm going to do it. They are all going to go. Oh my gosh, this is the most I've ever gotten rid of. Ever, 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 ever with blush. And by the way, I do love my L'Oreal Infallible Stick, but... Um, it's starting to change color on me already, and none of you guys can find it. So when I mention it, I feel bad because it's like getting discontinued. So I'm like, you know what? It's really good, but so are the other ones, so I don't need to keep it. I am only keeping one, two, three, four, five, six blushes. I am so proud. Let's go. Bronzers are next. Oh my gosh. I just found like more powders to get rid of that I literally have used like once. Those are gonna go, that's from the other video, but those are gonna go, oh my gosh. So I think this is all the bronzers. I have some like duos and things that you'll see in a second. My th my two favorite right now are the Milk Makeup Stick and the Nude Six Bondi Bay. Again, I'm really into cream, so that's what I've been using. I, l I genuinely still use and love the Kevin Aquan uh, Medium Sculpting Powder. I had light for a while, but I really realized I do like medium better, even though I am fairer. Uh, I like, this is still new to me, but I used it today, the Fenty Beauty In The Sun Bronzer. It's really light, but I enjoy it, so I want to keep using that. It's brand new to me. Um, oh, you know I love the contour wand. Love the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. That's got to stay. And honestly, I do love my Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze. I think that's good. I don't need any more. Uh, this, this one, it's time to go. I've had this for so long. I just don't need to keep it anymore. Um, and some of these I really like, but like, I just, I don't, oh, I, I do like this one, the NARS Diffused. And like drugstore wise, I love this, love this number seven bronzer, but I don't, I already have like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six bronzers. I don't need any more, that's enough. So these are gonna go. I know it's breaking some of your guys' hearts. All right, let's do, um, before we get to high, well, let's go ahead and do highlighters. Oh, I also 
have this liquid blush from NARS. I'm keeping. Sorry, that was uh, hidden away back here. Highlighter wise, let's see. What do I love enough to keep? This I literally use today. This Hourglass Vanish Highlight Stick is one of the best cream highlights I've ever, 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 ever used. So that's going to be a keeper for sure. The Essence Pure Nude is truly one of my favorites. I use it all of the time. This one I love, but you guys, from my understanding, you can't get your hands on anymore. So I'm like, again, it's so similar to the Essence. I don't feel like I have to keep it. I didn't love the Natasha Denona Super Glow, nor did I love the Anastasia Amrezi one. Those can go. Didn't love these. I really didn't like the Farsali. This Wet n Wild one was pretty, but I don't reach for loose highlight very often, so that one can go. Um, this one I literally have owned for a while and I've only used like twice. That's because, again, it got lost in my collection, so I'm definitely keeping that to keep trying. Love this pixie one. Oh, is this the one or is this the one? Wait a minute, one of these is like a radiant powder. What's the difference? Highlight powder. That is pretty. See, I want to use this powder more. This is such a pretty, like, as an actual powder. So I'm going to keep that. But I do. Laura, this Laura Mercier one, again, is such a beautiful one. I don't think I need to keep any of the rest of these. This pure one has gotten really old. Oh, the CYO one I really like. This one I've been using a lot for eyeshadow as well. This milk makeup one I didn't love. I just recently got, and I actually don't like it. This Becca one's a little, I don't know. I just don't reach for it. The Kaja one's nice, but I don't, no, I do like that one actually. But it's got this glitter in it that I think I'd rather use the Hourglass one. The Hello Halos are nice, but I don't need them. This one was not as highlighty as it used to be, I feel like. So that one can go. And then this Becca cream is really old. So, okay, all of those are gone. Oh, the RMS Beauty. I love this stuff. This I might have to keep. It's like a gloss you put on your face and it's so pretty. Yeah, this one I think I'm going to keep. So the last things are like duos, trios, palettes, things like that. I'd like to get rid of most of these. I, I don't really reach for palettes um, anymore. I just don't. The obvious keep is like my favorite of all time right now. This Kosas Cream and Light palette. It's just, they're both cream. I love applying them with my finger. They're so beautiful. It's in the shade 8th Muse, and I adore this. So that's an easy one to keep. These Hourglass ones are so old. They just need to go. I keep keeping them for nostalgia's sake, and I don't, I don't reach for them. That one I do like. This Elf one's pretty good. The CoverGirl one's okay. These NARS ones, I didn't get the hype behind this one. I didn't really like this. Um, this Makeup Forever is nice, but I don't reach for it because they're really small pans, so that can go. This NARS Highlighting Palette, again, beautiful, but I just don't reach for it. Now, this one I do reach for. It's limited edition, but it's such a good one I can, like, pack, so I'm going to keep that. I'm going to pass on the Natasha Denona Glow. These Fenty ones, I'm glad to pass those on. I did not. They were just a little drier than I like. So, I'm thinking about the Hourglass one, the Smashbox Cali Contour. And then my, I love this too, but do I use it enough to keep it? <sighs> so hard. I think I'm going to pass on the Hourglass one finally. I can't believe I'm doing it. I think I'm going to keep the Charlotte Tilbury. And this is hard for me. I think I'm going to keep the Smashbox. I want to keep using that because I love the shades in it and I want to make it work. This is, this is hard though. All right, so I'm not keeping very many and I'm getting rid of a lot. Oh, I forgot, I'm keeping this Buxom Divine Goddess. I love this cream, I really do. You can dip your brush or your sponge right into it and tap it on, so I'm definitely keeping that. Oh my gosh, and this, I just found it in the back of the drawer, the Jouer Powder Highlighter in Citrine is one of the most stunning, crazy highlights ever, and I really didn't keep a really vibrant highlighter, so I'm gonna keep this one. I mean, I like missed a million. I also forgot about this Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. I really like. But honestly, it's just been replaced by the Milk Makeup one. So, And I've had this for quite a while, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. This is all that I'm keeping right here. Blush, bronzer, highlight, and then like a couple of palette kind of things. And then this is all that I'm getting rid of. Holy moly, that is a good feeling. I had way too much, and this is like genuinely stuff that I'm excited to play with, excited to have in my collection. So this is everything that I'm keeping, blush, bronzer, highlight, palette, everything. That's it. Oh, that's a good feeling. And then this is everything I'm getting rid of. Holy cannoli. 
Yes. I think that I've realized that I want to feel when I open, I'm sure my lip stuff is crazy right now. I want to be able to open like my makeup drawer and just feel so happy. Like everything I'm looking at is something I absolutely adore. Pre declutter, I open it and I'm like, Ugh. You know what I mean? Just so if you did enjoy this, I hope you'll subscribe. If you haven't seen the very first one of this declutter, I hope that you will tune into that. I have it linked below. And of course, subscribe and stay tuned for my future declutters that I'm literally filming as we speak right now today. Um, but other than that, I love you guys. Thank you for understanding where I'm coming from with this. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.